Hey everybody, I'm Jonathan Grooms. Welcome to the spaciously lovely studios here in my basement in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I'm gonna run through some of my instruments, uh, my basses, my amps, and of course my effects pedals. And I'll be doing this as a, a weekly segment. And we're gonna start tonight with one of my favorite basses. This is a 1972 Fender Precision Bass. And I've had it just about 10 years now. And it's probably gone on most every tour I've ever gone on. It's gone all over the country to Canada. It's played the Ottawa Blues Festival. Um, it's a great bass. And we'll go over a little bit about it. The very unique thing about this precision bass is that it has an A-width neck. And what an A-width neck means is that it's 1.5 inches in width here. And that is the dimensions of a jazz bass. Most precision basses are a little bit wider. Um, they did have these for guys with smaller hands or guys that preferred a thinner neck, but they were rare. I ended up getting a hold of this and really, really like this neck. Um, it has a rosewood fingerboard. The body's made of alder. Uh, you can see some of the, the detail here. The headstock's a little yellowed, and we've got some mojo here from a belt buckle, a, apparently a very large belt buckle, and there's some wear on the underside of the neck here. I have it strung with uh, flat wound strings. These are DR flat wound strings, which I really, I really kind of like these flat ones. It's the first time I've tried them. And the gauges are uh, 45, 65, 85 through 105 on those. I kind of consider this my James Jamerson type bass. Uh, he had a 62 precision. This is a very warm sounding bass. And uh, we'll go ahead and demonstrate it. Enough of my yakking. Very warm tone uh, to this bass. I really like the way these DR flats sound on here. This is more of, um, it, it is a 72, but it, it does definitely sound more like an early 60s um, precision. It's a lot darker than my other uh, Fender Precision, my 71. Uh, let's go ahead and roll the tone control down about halfway and see what we got here. Let's go ahead and take it all the way down. So there you go. It has kind of a wide range of tones there. It's, it's just a great bass. I will say that the I did have to change the pickup out. The pickup is a Lindy Fralin. Uh, he makes great pickups. The original pickup was dead, uh, or on the verge of being dead, when I got it. Um, and I'll probably have it rewound at some point. But there you have it, folks. This is my 1972 uh, Fender Precision Bass, which I have nicknamed Fred G after Fred G Sanford. I'm not sure why, because he's full of the funk and this bass is full of the funk. So there you have it, 1972 Fender Precision Bass of the Week. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.